up, people? Today's gonna be a different video. Let's start talking about some of my toys. What are those toys? I got two new ones um, last month. Dad, today, we get to play with. Today is range day. First one, Glock. Second one, this little diamond back that I got. <clears throat> that auction site that I use up here. I get really good deals on guns. So when I see them, I try not to pass them up. Let me show y'all what I got. Let's start with. BB 380. So originally I got this little guy as a tool for my daughter. I wanted to get something that I thought would be a nice little weapon for my daughter. Got her her FOI card up here in, in the uh, Illinois area. You're, you have to have a FOI card. It, it allows you to own, touch, and shoot weapons on your own. Don't have a void, you can go to the range with someone. Most ranges limit you to the amount of times that you can visit, but that's neither here nor there. Nevertheless, but we're working on getting her concealed carry, and I thought this would be and just the this one doesn't lock back, just to give you a heads up. You see, this thing is clear, um, doesn't lock back, but what's really cool is it's, it's super super tiny. You know, I can sit this thing in my pocket if she, you know. Show the to her, see if she like it. I say if she didn't like it, I'll just make another pocket pistol. You know, my original pocket pistol, which I like this thing, you know, is my Taurus Curve, which compared to this, they're about the same size, you know, except the curve has uh, has light on it and also red dot. Um, yeah. So this little guy is gonna be for Chris. So today, this thing is so tight and it's, it's brand new. So today, uh, you know, we're gonna take it out and put some rounds through it to try to loosen it up a bit, all right? DB380, nice shooter. It holds uh, six rounds and one in the chamber, so six plus one. It's a decent little gun. Uh, people, some people don't like 380. They don't think it has enough stopping power. Um, I believe that if you are a good enough shooter, you can do damage with a 22. Can't wait to see how it works. All right, so that's one. Then, <sighs> next we have this guy. A Glock. So, just to let you guys know about this guy, I wanted this one pretty badly because, well, I've been shooting a bit, and when I do shoot, you know, my accuracy has gotten a lot better. Uh, so, me and one of my buddies, uh, young pastor, my little bro, we're looking at doing some comp competitive shooting. Um, and um, originally, I was expecting to do my shooting with this guy. This is my, it's clear. My Glock 19. I've done the stempling myself. I've done the paintwork myself. Um, but next, I want to change. Going to change the uh, the um, slide release, these pins, mag release, and also the slide lock stop. I haven't decided if I want to do a different sight. So far, I think these sights are okay. Gonna also change the injector and the barrel. Probably not gonna use this guy for competition. Yeah, this, this is my Glock 19. This is a Glock 34, Gen 4. It comes with three 17 mile rack magazines. It comes with extra back plates for the grip. Uh, it also comes with, you know, the cleaning brush. It comes with the lock um, and the cleaning wand for the brush. Yeah, that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about this. All right, as you can see, it's clear. Um, the Glock 34 it is chambered in nine millimeter. Um, it is uh, this much longer than a Glock 17. It has a ported or cut out at the top of the slide. It does add for a different weight. Because of it, it being so long, it leans forward. 
which is really good for getting back on target. So you don't get as much recoil. Nine millimeter is a powerful round, stopping power round. However, it doesn't have as much recoil when you have a larger gun. So this gun is about the size of your average uh, 1911, which is normally chambered in a 45 caliber round. Um, heavy forward on 1911s, which allows you to stay on target. Most, I had a 1911 uh, and it was very smooth, super smooth shooter and I enjoyed it. Um, however, this one, because it's chambered in nine millimeter, it's gonna have less recoil. Uh, it allows you to stay on target a lot easier. Uh, it has also adjustable sights. Block came out with adjustable sights on this guy. As you can see, you got screws here. It allows you to adjust this sight so you can get this thing perfect. And there's a lot of wiggle room. I don't have the same thing on this Glock 19. Glock 19 is, uh, is the Gen 3, um, which doesn't have that adjustable sight. Not a problem. Still gets the job done. Still, I still can shoot it very well. All right, so, but this guy right here is great for competition shooting. Really good for competition shooting because it allows you to get back on target. The weight is forward. There's a lot of modifications that can be done to this gun. So what I plan on doing to it, similarly to the 19, I am going to change, let me get me a pointer. Here. We need something bright, there we go. So we're gonna change, so at first I wasn't gonna change this because this has the updated slide release with the little knot, knot, uh, knot nook on it. As you can see on the 19, it doesn't have that. It's really flat and it's really not easy to get to, but I will change this to get one that has one like this. However, I will change this guy but to a different color. I'm gonna change my mag release. I'm gonna change the trigger to a two-tone trigger. It's gonna be black and gold. We're gonna change all the pins in this weapon. We're also gonna change the slide release. I'm gonna change the barrel. We're gonna get an updated barrel. Uh, haven't quite decided on if I wanna go with the updated slide just yet. Uh, I'm going to stemple this gun myself. I'm gonna get rid of these fingers. I can't stand that. Uh, we're gonna trim up some things around this, this trigger guard. I'm gonna put a magwell, a wider magwell uh, on this gun. And I'm probably gonna maintain the current slide and sights for now until I shoot it a bit with the upgrades and see how I like it, all right? So, today, we're gonna be playing with this guy at the ring. And, we're gonna take this little guy out. Super tight. <laughs> and we're gonna see what they can do. All right, let's go to the range. Put some holes in paper, and then we can come back and talk about what we liked and what we didn't like. Look it up.